And it also <laughs> really bums me out that you you really don't think that there's a, a place for a woman in late night, especially now as like we encroach on like a new wave, I think, of talent that are going to pop up across numerous networks, not just one, over the coming years. I like, think the structure has to change. Gen Z is not watching The Tonight Show. You know what I mean? Totally. They're watching their favorite celebrities on these shows. They're mm -hmm. not watching Jimmy Fallon. Love Jimmy Fallon. You know, like he's funny, but he has his um, critiques. People critique him as they do any host. But I think that that structure has worked since, you know, Johnny Carson. And it's just like, maybe it's time that we update it. It is a risk. Yeah. It, it, and, and I do think like, you made an example of like when every time they do try to take that approach or try something new, it doesn't work out. And maybe we're talking about Lily Singh. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're th talking about, I mean, let's go back, back in time. Chelsea worked. Chelsea was, uh, yeah. Chelsea wasn't on a major, one of the major three and it was different. Right. I, I don't know. Was the Lily show good? Um, That's what I couldn't wrap my mind around. Cause I kind of thought it was bad. They set her up to, for failure. Yeah, probably. The writers were awful. They had her doing way too much. They had her trying to fill the role of the straight white man yeah. comic. And that's not her sense of humor. And that's not playing to her strengths as an Indian woman. Totally. You know, like who came from the internet. Like there's so many angles you could take there to make it interesting. And they just dropped the ball. I think she was a victim of that. Yeah. You know, I don't think that she failed. I think that they set her up for failure. So it was just sad. And, and it, it sucks because... The reality of it is she represents for a lot of men, you know, like, well, this is why a woman can't. Women aren't funny. 100%. You know, and it's like that's just solidifying it because she didn't play to her strengths. And it's, it's just frustrating. By the way, before her, Grace Helbig did a show on E! And for a while cast this totally different sort of stereotype. But essentially the stereotype of, like, you can't put YouTubers on television. Right. Which It's like now we're fighting seven uphill battles yeah. to try to be taken seriously.